Welcome to my thoughts on The Bear, Season 2, Episode 2. This episode is called Pasta. There will be spoilers for this and every episode leading up to it. And, yeah, another episode I absolutely love. So, Marcus bro the f broke the phone. He didn't mean to, you know. He thought that it would be caught. But the, yeah, let's. And... It's not very promising that Richie is like watching a video on his smartphone about the job that they're about to undertake. Like that's kind of that should have been homework. You should have prepared for this before you got here. And and I forget if it's Fac or or Marcus, but one of them is like, "How much of this video are we gonna watch?" So it's not like just oh, you know, he just put out. No, they've been standing there watching this video for a while. Richie is, you know, Richie's that guy who's, like, puts on the video and, like, hovers. The, the, the good part's just, you know, come any second now. And... <laughs> and they disagree about moving the lockers and just... <laughs> like, even even before you get a, much of a sense of what exactly they're talking about, like, the fact that Richie says... If we move the lockers now, we're just going to have to fucking move them again later. Like, immediately, you know, Richie's in the wrong. He's, he's obviously, yes, it fucking sucks. It sucks to have to move the lockers twice. But that doesn't mean that you don't have to. And he's just being a big whiny piss baby, as he always is. And I wouldn't have it any other way. You called mom? <laughs> And, and they talk about, in this situation, you need an alpha, which is exactly the kind of thing that he fucking would say in this situation, Jesus. And, yeah, we get a counter, at the start of the episode, like 12 months, 12 weeks, oh god, if only 12 months, 12 weeks out, and the, you know, the, the, um, ah, what the, wait. Am I fucking up the number? Wh whatever, you know, it's it, it's giving us a countdown. I'm guessing the, you know, several of several more episodes of the season are gonna give us the countdown to let us know how far, how or how little time they have left. And you know, they they talk about culinary school, and Tina is like into it, and Ibrahim not so much. He does not like the idea of wearing a uniform. I have to wonder if it's like. A military, you know, it reminds him of military violence from his home country based on, you know, he talked to Richie about that, you know, fucking Black Hawk Down, dude. And the, let's see, yeah, and they, they have to cut open the locker and the, the baseball, it, I think it was baseball, whatever, the, the cap inside, you know, um, Carmi gives it to, to Richie, and, you know, the, the four of them all remember the occasion, the, yeah, the three siblings and cousin, and, let's see, yeah, you know, the, the, Sydney is like, you know, so you cut up in the, and all that was in there was a hat. Is a, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's just maybe not the right, yeah, that, that might not have been the right thing to say given the circumstances. That's a hell of a lot of Sydney's in here. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> or don't, don't look them in the eye, I think, were the exact words he said. And let's see the um, yeah the mold problem and you gonna call mom? Oh, I'm gonna call mom. You know, it's mom, mom, dude. You know, go go ahead. See what happens if you do it out loud. You know, mom. You know, just <laughs> God. Let's. And and the the yeah so so Richie not not Richie Carmi Jesus Carmi and Sydney are like going over you know the you know figuring out the menu and and you know um, 
gives the the yeah you know t t tasting and you know Carmi's like oh that's that's way too much acid uh, you know chef and he's doing like this thing around like his his chest and she's like are you having heartburn because I think I have something you know just and he explains no 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 I'm just I'm signing you know we're we're cool you know I'm just saying we have an issue here but we're cool you know it's not just you know that was Let's see, and yeah, so Sugar is like talking to the plumber on the phone and like just giving the whole, you know, really talking about her personal, like, I mean, she's basically, she's acting like she's on the phone with her psychiatrist or something, you know, and the, you know, yeah, let's slip, she's pregnant, you know, that's, that's probably part of why she said that this is, you know, the timing is not great. That's why she looks, what was it she said? Like, February. And, yeah, that's, that's obviously gonna, like, I would be extremely surprised if that doesn't come into, like, I don't know if they're actually gonna have her, like, her water break at a, you know, intense moment, but, you know, certainly, yeah, pregnancy, makes things significantly more <laughs> that's yeah that's a complication that's what they call it in the business and you know she like she's talking to the, the plumber and she's like it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's not that's not the issue it's this other yes you are the plumber not me yeah, this is he's obviously not human Ridley said so learn how to watch a fucking movie You know, if Richie meets Harrison Ford, there's going to be an argument. That's two very opinionated people who clearly do not agree on that particular storytelling choice. Now, let's see. Yeah, I... <laughs> It was very funny when, when Richie is, like, you know, proving that it isn't mold. You know, if it was... You know how I know it isn't mold? Because... And he taps the, the ceiling with the, with the... You know, he's got the mop or whatever. And it collapses onto him. Yeah, that was, that was not the intended result there. A good scene with Sydney talking to her father... And Claire and Carmi, you know, there's, like, considering that they, you know, there was some reason why they broke up, but that's not the most, like, it's, it's, there's definitely a chance there for, if not, like, restarting the relationship, although I can imagine that's what they're getting at, like, a friendship or something, you know, and I can imagine that might also complicate matters, and <laughs> so yeah, we thought it was Neil who called the mold people, led by Hans, mold man, but it was actually Marcus, and... <laughs> I really appreciate, like, we haven't spent a lot of time with Sydney's father. I'm going to see if I can get, em Emmanuel. But you get that this is a conversation that's been had. You know, they have talked about this before. She is not a fan of them having the conversation again. You know, Robert Townsend. Do I know? I feel like I know that. Huh. Wait. Director, very cool. Huh. Eddie directed Eddie Murphy Raw. Very, very impressive. That's a that's an excellent show. If you haven't watched it, like not everything about it holds up, of course, but no, it's, it's real, real good. But yeah, also been acting for a long time. Anyway, uh, yeah, 
you know, he he he's not sure if she's focusing in the right place and and it's just yeah. And you know, to her it sounds really it's basically like an insult to to say, you know, can't you work at the airport, you know, kind of thing. And yeah, and and you know, Sydney's mother died before she was the age that Sydney is now. So I mean, yeah, she she really must have been a, like a, a very small child when it happened and since then it's just been the two of them so yeah that does put a lot of pressure on you know yeah that can really strain a relationship and yeah we you know Claire is the kind of doctor that she wanted to be and you know the <laughs> It is very, very charming, the thing with, you know, I will bet you a million dollars that you don't know the name, because we haven't even told anyone, you're about to be out one million dollars, you know, and, and yeah, she knows, you know, he's the bear, and she knows, yeah, she knows that he would name the place the bear, like, after himself, his, his nickname, and then they talk about you know how the money should be you know just yeah they're they're very very charming together so so yeah that's yeah um i think that's about what i have to say about this episode yeah they're you know they're doing a really good job like gradually increasing you know the first episode set up you know, by, by the end of the first episode, we realized, you know, it's really going to get intense if they have, if they're, you know, since they're actually going to try to make this ridiculous deadline. And yeah, this, you know, now we know there's a mold problem. We learn that Sugar is pregnant, even though she's like possibly in charge, considering being in charge, you know, just... Yeah, um, yeah. I gotta say the the I, mean, I really like that the Tina, you know, like she's she's good with this Sydney, but like seeing so many Sydneys, that's a bit much, you know. And uh, I honestly, I'm willing to admit if I if I end up being wrong about this, but I don't think there's any chance that I will ever get tired of Richie and Neil like butting heads like it's so funny and has been since like immediately like the very first time they butted head on, heads on the show it was funny and I think that is Right, I I liked I I forget who it even was, but like early in the episode, I think it's Carmi Carmi, who's like, "How's it going?" You know, or, or yeah, something like that. And like one of them is like great, and another is like terrible. You know, so it's like okay, I can work with both of you agreeing that it's going terribly, but the fact that you disagree on whether or not it's going well is not a great sign you know that's, that's a great little like just yeah and I think that might be everything that I had to right I I like the conversation between Carmi and Sydney where you know both of them are like okay can I ask you something and you can tell me to go fuck myself you know, and Carmen's like, I doubt I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. Okay, so, you know, what was that? Three, three stars, I think it was. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you know, that was, that was quite good. And, yeah. Um, continuing to really, really love this show. And, yeah. Uh, catch you next week.